guys know what comes out of those kind of military apps? Lava, right? So today I'm going to show you an experiment that you can try out. Wait a minute! Who are you? Sorry guys, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Jared and today we're going to be making a homemade lava lamp. For this experiment, we'll be using food coloring, flat bottom flasks, vinegar, some cooking oil, and effervescent tablets. Okay guys, before we get started, this is a very messy experiment. So let's take care when pouring our oil and our food coloring. Let's begin. Okay guys, so this is our first class. Um, let's add another one. Okay, guys, so our floss are all prepared. Let's try one. Come have a closer look. Okay guys, let's uh, take a look at that in the dark, but I'll need something to light my flowers. The oil floats on top of the water because they have different densities, oil being lighter than the water. The food colouring is then added to produce a colour. An effervescent tablet is added and passes through the oil without reacting. The tablet is then covered with a layer of oil, which means it takes a few seconds to react with the water. The effervescent is made from aspirin, citric acid and bicarbonate of soda. When they mix with the water, the reaction releases carbon dioxide gas that forms bubbles which stick to the water droplets. This water and gas combination is less dense than oil, so they float to the top. Once the gas is released to the outside, the dense water droplet sinks down again, therefore creating the lava lamp. So there you have an easy way to make your own lava lamp that you can try it on. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment. Also don't forget to ring our notification bell so that you know when our latest science videos are coming out. And remember, always question, always wonder. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what comes out of a volcano? Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Start again with the